Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 25 box mega baseball mixer. Random team break number one with a Vlad Guerrero Jr. bat giveaway. There it is. There's the bat, there's the Beckett certificate. We're going to give this away at the end of the break. So everyone has a shot at that autographed bat. There was another promo in here. Then early bird bonus. If you bought one of the first 15 spots, we randomize those names. The name on top gets an extra spot in the break. So there's the early bird list right here. So there's the first 15. Right there, 1 through 15. And one of your names will be in that early bird spot on the bottom to make 30 for the 30 baseball teams. So congrats. To everyone uh, from Mark down to Austin and everyone in between. Good luck. Full 12 times. Six and a six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12th and final time. Name on top is John. There you go, John. John G. An early bird. Getting the worm. Which in this case is a extra spot. Two spots for the price of one for you. All right, now let's grab all 30 names right here. And let's prepare it for this team list right here. Boom. There we go. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Two and a six. Eight times for the names and teams now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. An eighth and final time. Two and a six. Eight times. After eight, we got Chad down to Adam. Adam bought the last spot straight up. He gets the last spot mojo. And eight times for the teams. All teams are in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the San Diego Padres down to the Reds. Chad's just like, I didn't want the one spot this time. I want it at the end of the break. You have the Padres, though, Chad. One, you have the Rockies, Javier, Mariners, Joseph, Elran, Word, Astros, Justin Gutting, Indians, Robert Grease, Mets, Travis with the Diamondbacks, John with the Blue Jays, Chris with the Marlins, Rolando with my Dodgers, Austin with the Pirates, Stephen K, A's, Arturo, Braves, Trey, Angels, Mark, uh, Rangers, Bill, you have the Yankees. Jeff, Cubs, Javier, Nationals, Rex, Rays. Rex has been waiting for this break all day, and he wasn't in the room. But then he said he just popped back into the room because he heard me shouting his name. I was like, Rex, where are you? He was dozing off. Bruce, you got the Brew Crew. Danny with the Tigers. Kip Kip Hooray with the Twins. Daniel with the Orioles. John with the spot, the early bird spot that you won. You got the Phillies. Brian Crouch, White Sox. Brian Wilkes, St. Louis Cardinals. Shahadi, you have the KC Royals. These hands not insured, not yet anyway. Blake with the Giants, Eric with the Red Sox, and Adam Hendricks, last spot mojo, in the last spot with the Cincinnati Red Legs. Now, you can trade, but before you trade, just keep those, keep that in mind. We go, we have some 2013, we've got some 16, 18, looks like mostly 18 and 19 though. We got a box of 17 with the Bellinger and Judge rookies. So just keep that in mind before you start trading willy-nilly. Trade at your own risk. All right, now, let's alphabetize this list by team. And I'll give everyone a few minutes to kind of digest the team that you got, kind of think about what you could possibly get. 
a lot of different years. Um, we got a lot of high-end stuff too. 2018 Bowman, two different years of museum collection. Here, in fact, I'll share this team list with you just so you can have it on hand. Shahadi wants to know if anybody wants uh, the Royals. All right, so we got some Series 2, some 2018 Bowman. There's the museum. There's some Stadium Club, 2013 Select. You see that immaculate box in the background. We got some gold label. We got some old finest. We got optic. We got prism, 2018 Bowman Chrome. We got... A mega box back here, and then we've got Chrome Baseball right here. Greatest hits of the 90s back there, some Argonaut, an autographed baseball by Gold Rush, couple inceptions of five-star archives, and then of course that Immaculate back there, makes 25. All right, any trades? Travis, maybe maybe Royals, Diamondbacks. Otherwise, we will go. Looks like everyone's gonna sit tight with their teams. All right, so all right, so I think it's going to be a no. TWC trade window closed. I actually printed this a little early, but it turns out there were no trades. So there it is, our twenty-five box mega baseball mixer. It is a big break. This break should take us pretty close to the end of the night, ladies and gentlemen. So unfortunately, everything else like certified would have to be pushed till tomorrow. If we happen to finish a little bit before um, our latest stopping time, then, I don't know, maybe we can squeeze in like a quick Argonaut break or something like that. And series two is right in front of me, so let's go here. And we'll kind of jump around between years. Right here, we're gonna probably do the heavier base product first like this. And then we'll slowly make our way to the higher end stuff, the one pack per box sort of stuff. All right, good luck, everybody. Got a bunch of final scores happening here. Cleveland beat the Royals 8-3. The Brew Crew edged out the White Sox, well, White Sox, Cubs 3-2. The White Sox fell to the Twins 6-2. Miami edged out the Diamondbacks 3-2. The Mets beat the Pirates 6-3. The Red Sox putting up all sorts of runs on the Yankees. Another 10 runs today after their 19 yesterday. Mookie bets three home runs in his first three at bats. Red Sox win 10 to five. Rays beat the Blue Jays three to one. Braves beat the Phillies nine to two. My Dodgers beat the Nationals four to two. That could be a playoff preview right there. Rockies beat the Cincinnati Reds 12 to two. I think the Cardinals held on to beat the uh, Astros five to three. I think I had financial interest in the in the Cardinals. I did, so I got that. What about Oak? I need Oakland. They're down three two to the Rangers in Oakland though. End of the fourth. Still plenty of time. 
and the Giants are up one nothing on the Padres on the Giants tonight. All right. Well, here we go. Good luck, everybody. So just in the interest of time, I'm going to be breezing through all this stuff, but when, when our shipping team is sorting and shipping everything out, they'll be sure to catch um, parallels, variations that are to be sent, photo variations and whatnot. Sam saying Rangers W, book it. A's are playing some good baseball, Sam, over the last month or so. And they're at home. Hey, what am I looking for here? One autograph and two relic cards in this box. Uh, with McCarthy, no sound Friday. Well, McCarthy's going to try to talk, but I'm not going to be typing McCarthy. Sorry. And there's our autograph. Rookie auto for the Giants, Ray Black. And that is for... The, for Blake and the Giants. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Oh, Willie Calhoun is back. Old Stone Hands Calhoun. Although those hands may have gotten better. I think that's one of the big reasons why the Dodgers traded him. They liked his uh they liked his bat. His bat is definitely stellar. But I think he they just fielding wise just didn't really have it. So I think he, he lands better with a uh, with an AL team. Out of 67, Jalen Beeks for the Rays. And we'll, we'll sleeve all those parallels up and get them top loaded before they go out, of course. And there's one of the relics, Starling Marte. So actually, let's keep the hits out here. So that's two of three, just so we can keep track per box. Should be looking for one more autograph. Or no, one more relic, that is, sorry. One autograph, two relics. Right, Trey. Thanks, because I see it right there. <laughs> And there it is. It's Paul Goldschmidt. Bit of his game used lumber. He's been raking. Didn't he hit another home run today? Five days, five home runs or something insane like that. 
That goes to Brian Wilkes and the Cardinals. All right, box one in the books. All right, now let's move into some 2018 Bowman baseball jumbo three box three autographs per box. So 2018. Hunter Green, Raphael Devers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, on the box. Over under two hours, Bill? I say under. I think I'll do this in an hour 30 ish. We're already 15 minutes in. Oh, dear. Maybe not. Although there was randomizer and trade time. I say hour 45. I say it brings us right to 10 o'clock, a little bit after. Got four active games right now, bottom of the fifth. Orioles are up seven nothing on the Angels. Angels and Orioles played a 15, 16 inning game last night and then I think Angels burned their starter and now they're down by zero and they're down by seven. Bottom of the fifth. Middle of the fifth. Rangers three. A's two. And the Padres just tied it up. 1-1 one, one in the bottom of the fifth against the San Francisco Baseball Giants. And the Tigers are up 2-0 in the bottom of the sixth on the Rangers. Or on the Mariners, that is. Um, this break, I think, was posted probably a little bit before I went on air today, around 2 o'clock L.A. time. It did go relatively quick, though. I mean, it, it took a better part of the day, but... And there's Derek Hall. Phillies, that's going to go to John, who got the Phillies in the team random, the early bird random. Yeah, maybe it was posted around noon central, says Trey. Oh yeah, there's Paul Goldschmidt's home run. Yeah, Sam Banks is here saying, Cardinal, I just saw it on MLB Network too. Cardinals took sole possession of first place. In the NL Central, Goldschmidt home ring in five straight games. What a, what a wild NL Central. There's Willie Calhoun. He's back in action. 250. We were just talking about him.
Save one of these rookie Otanis there, too. Might trade Dodgers might trade uh, Kyber Ruiz, their big pitching prospect. And look at that rookie Tyler Maley. That's for Adam Hendricks, Red Legs, Last Spot Mojo. Second auto of the box. Oh, Trey wouldn't mind an Otani autograph. He has the Angels. Oh, you're you're invested. You're gonna be here. All, you're gonna be here the entire break. It's Fernando Tatis Jr. right there. That's one of the. I think this is one of the few times where where you can look at a prospect and say, yeah, that that guy's gonna be, you know, the can't miss. Sam Banks has a question for everyone. Who's your favorite current player that doesn't play for your favorite team? There's a Bondale Isabel to 499. Um, Sam Banks is Amir Garrett. That's a good question. Bill says Tatis Jr. Don Rapp says Charlie Blackman. And there's a Bondell Isabel. Dodger autograph. Dodger Joe Mojo for Rolando Lewis. And that's out of four ninety nine. All right, next one. Does the shop do we buy base cards? I hope I hope we don't. I would have, I'm, I'm trying to think of the, uh, Sam Banks' question. There's TJ Zoot. Uh, I would say, I mean, like, besides the obvious, I mean, watching Trout is really fun. I saw a Trout. Angels lost in spite of Trout's best efforts in that 16, 15, 16 inning game last night. Bases loaded. Count goes to three and two. Two outs in, like, the bottom of the 15th or 15th inning or something like that. And he, he just rips a hit down the third baseline. I mean, making incredible plays everywhere. So, I mean, I would... Flag Guerrero Jr. is pretty fun to watch. Tatis Jr. is definitely fun to watch. He's always doing something wild. And there's Jake Hallish to 150, Blue Shimmer. All right, that was 2018 Bowman.
All right, next box. Well, this prism was not looking at me, so let's do this. All right, here we go. Uh, Jay Kalsh is a royal. That'll go to you, Shahade. Blue shimmer to 150. Sorry, I thought I called that out. Yeah, just donate them, Julo. Just there, there's a lot of that's what we do with a lot of our veteran base that we have. They can they can be donated. Or if you can fill like a monster box, we've done this before too. If you can fill like a monster box with, with, uh, with base cards, people will buy them. You can just donate that money to charity. We've done that in the past. I think nowadays we'll we'll have we'll, we'll be able to give them to kids and stuff like that too that come in here. But there, there is a, there is a market out there. Believe it or not, even even in this day and age. Kristen Stewart to three ninety nine. Tigers, that'll be for Danny. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Yeah, give them to a local local teacher. Uh, Mark Matheson, some of you know him, is a teacher, and we've donated some uh, some cards his class too that he's used for educational purposes. There's Richie Martin for the A's. That's for Stephen K. Baltimore. Sorry, I think he was on the A's. Uh, false alarm. Orioles. Daniel Hayes, the rightful owner. Three autos per box. There you go. There's Mark. Yeah, the kids love him. So donating to, like, f find a local school or local teacher that might want to use these for whatever educational purpose they want to use them for. There's AJ Pollock. There's a lot of different things you can do with these. We talk about probability. Talk about all sorts of stuff. There's Yasiel Puig for the... Reds. I wonder if they're going to be trading those guys. Puig. Mitch Hanniger to 299 for the Mariners. Justin Turner to 60. Wave. Dodgers. AJ Pollock. Hopefully he's back healthy for the rest of the way. There he is coming into focus. And Fran Mel Reyes, Padre Slugger, Game Ball Graphs, going to Chad B and the Friars. <laughs> Sean Manea, that's an A. DJ Stewart, Orioles, to 150. G Lo's like, I used to give them to my little cousins, but they're not so little anymore. They lost interest. Which I don't, uh, recommend. I don't know. You, you kind of have to. Yeah, getting the kids. I don't know. You have, you have to make a game out of it, G Lo. You have to like start trading with them and start telling them about like value and stuff like that. Be like, oh, there's Garrett Cole to 150. Could be like a few bucks and. Start start at, like attaching the monetary thing to it. Ninety out of ninety nine. Sean Reed Foley. He's like, hey, this could be. You can take your allowance money, put it toward a pack, and flip it for the thing. You teach them about economics, buying and selling, and values. Ninety out of ninety nine. Sean Reed Foley. Ryan Yarborough. 
Paul Hudgens says back in the 70s and 80s, he used to flip cards in school. Could be a reality show now. There's all sorts of house flipping shows, right? Card flippers. Eric Haas for that tribe. Welcome to HETV's Card Flippers. Matt Carpenter is 75, Cardinals. Kevin Pillar, Blue Jays edition. Yadier Molina to 199. Randy Johnson to 399. The Lady, lady Auto? Sean Reed Foley went to the Blue Jays. That was for John. Padres, Framil Reyes, and then Richie Martin, Blue Jays. Or uh, Orioles. All right, let's stay with Donneris. Bill, you think collecting has become an older person's game? I disagree with that. You'd be surprised at, at, at the age of some of the kids that are here. I feel like demographically, we generally, right, see, Dylan is 12. I think it's a lot of kids and their fathers or mothers who uh, who are here. And, they, and they're, they're the ones watching mostly because they want to collect. Um, but then like their, their parents are, you know, obviously helping funding it. Um, I think we get a, get a lot of college kids because, you know, they got time to watch a live stream. You know what I mean? They've got time to watch a live stream and watch all this sort of stuff for extended periods of time. Also, we've got, we've got a lot of people who have like weird hour jobs, right? So that would that would be people who travel a lot or a lot of people in the military shop with us. Um, I think there are a lot of correctionals officers. They got weird hours, you know? So they got all that. So we, we get a we get a wide variety of we get a, we got a wide variety of people I think I think we got a we got people that are super young we got old school guys here too you know so I think we got a good cross section of of people but what's encouraging is that there are a lot of young kids who are younger kids who are uh, watching this because it's kind of a different way to consume the hobby it's not the way you know a lot of people used to do it there's Buster Posey two ninety nine so that gives there's a new avenue to watch, a new way to watch. But the kids are into it. There you go, yeah. G-Lo found Jaspi's working on an overnight shift, and you're like, hey, what's what's on at night? There's Albert Pujols to 99. Oh, flipping was a game in school, not selling, says Paul Hutchins. Sorry, I misunderstood. A lot of, a lot of dads watch, right? A lot of dads watch because... You know, they just had kids. They're they're up late taking care of the kids and whatnot, and want to have something to to do late at night after putting the kids to bed. So there's so I think there's there's a broad there's a broad collection of people, which is encouraging. It's good for the health of the hobby. There's Evan Gaddis, Astros. But I think you're right, though. I think a lot more people, you know, a lot. It's just the way cards are consumed these days are a little bit different, right? I think a lot of people are interested in flipping, flipping cards like for uh, for money, you know, as opposed to actually collecting. That's Aaron Nola, sixty-four out of ninety-nine. 
Autograph, one of the nicest autographs in the hobby. We'll invite Aaron Nola to our Jaspie's autograph camp to teach rookies how to sign autographs more nicely. Better penmanship. Phillies with that one. John got the Phillies in the uh, in that early bird special. should we do next? Should we stay with the Panini theme, do 2013 Select? Remember Select Baseball? Uh, I don't know if these comics are archived. Maybe we have them archived. Bill says, you want Jaspies to, to, to re-designate ourselves as a uh, restaurant so you can get three times, you can get triple points on the card? Yeah, we'll invite Mariano Rivera as, well, as a guest speaker to our Jaspies autograph camp, and we'll invite some rookies. Some rookies, perhaps, with poor autographs that year, and we'll be like, listen, your second year's gotta be better, you know? You're improving your game, in whatever sport you're playing, you're improving your game every year. You gotta improve your ink game. We'll invite Mariano Rivera as a guest speaker, you know, and then invite Jamon Moore <laughs> to come in. We'll uh, we'll get a uh, we'll get who who else who else is really good? I, we'll get Sa Saquon Barkley needs a better autograph. We'll get Saquon Barkley in here and be like, we, we're gonna be like, Bark, yo, Bark, I love you, man. You know you're great for the hobby. You know I hope you're running back for a long time for the New York Football Giants. You gotta work on that auto, bro. Can't just be SB. Here's guest speaker Mario Rivera to talk to you about and the rest of the class about how to improve your autograph, what makes a good autograph. I'll get FBI handwriting experts to come and talk about penmanship, what that means about your character. You know, FBI, FBI handwriting experts will come in and be like, listen, strong personalities usually sign like this, write like this. You know, your autograph tells you, tells others about you. We'll have that, we'll have some breakout panels, we'll talk all that. Right, we could bring Chris Sale into talk. It's like, Chris Sale, why does your auto look like that? You know? Thanks, Dylan. I think I have a pretty cool job, too. I'm pretty lucky. Sam Bates, what are your thoughts on the whole black label grading controversy with the brand name redacted because... Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. What is the black label grading controversy? Who's saying it's a controversy, first of all? Who is claiming it's a controversy? Another Evan Gaddis? All right. Evan Gaddis box. This is Brave's edition of Evan Gaddis. That goes to Arturo and the Bravos. Twenty-eight out of ninety-nine. There's that redemption too. That's expired, but I think you should. Most of the time, you should have some luck getting that actually redeemed. Some people recently have had some issues with expired redemptions, but other people have not. So, I love the Evan Gaddis story as well. That Evan Gaddis is the like. He was like a janitor at a grocery store or something like that, or he was. And he battled his way back into baseball or something, or he, was it something like that? All right, there's Bobby Parnell, select auto for the Mets. Oh, sorry. Let's get into focus here. There we go. Oh, I see. Huh. And then there's Derek Dietrich, gold. That card is gold. 24 out of 25. 
Yeah, everyone loves the good rags to riches story. I, I have not heard anything about that. Sam Banks. So, I don't know. The redemption is... Tim Wakefield. An old knuckleballer Tim Wakefield. What year? This is 2013. Connection.com checklist Wakefield card 41. It does not have a team associated with it. All right, maybe it's a group break checklist.com. Do they even have stuff back in 2013? They do. All right, select. They don't have select. <laughs> Who was he playing for in 2013? It has to be Red Sox, right? 2013? It's got to be Red Sox. He only played for the Pirates for a year. The rest of his career was was with the Red Sox. All right, so that goes to uh, Eric Rittenhouse with the Red Sox. If for some reason that comes back a pirate, Eric, let me know so we can get it to the right person, which I doubt. But they wouldn't do that. All right, there are your autographs for this one. All right, what's next? Should we should we dive into some some stadium club? Yeah, two on cards per box. Love the photography in stadium club. The box loader right there too. Bill says, if you want me to get you a Tim Wakefield, I see him in your town square every week during the season. Ask him what uh, what uniform he was wearing in 2013 Panini Select Baseball when he was signing those cards. Let's see if he remembers. Best Rags to Riches story. Cleveland Rock saying Mike Tyson. Tyson is a good pick. You know what? In recent, yeah, that's a good one, Edward. It, like for guys in recent memory, Josh Jacobs. A dude and his like his his dad and his brothers and sisters were uh, you know were living out of their like dad's suburban. Shuttling them around to like practice their old suburban, driving them around to football practices and trying to do that. But yeah, Josh Jacobs' story, running back for the Raiders and Alabama. It's pretty great. Um, Cleveland Rock saying Rags to Ridges story, Joe Jaspi. Yeah, from, from the mean streets of, uh, of Warren, Ohio. From the mean streets of Ohio, Joe Jaspi and his family, working class, working class middle class family, Led, led a very comfortable suburban lifestyle. <laughs> and now has Teslas and a baseball card shop. And, and 
We like we we light cigars with hundred dollar bills. And there you go. That not modern, but that's a classic one. Babe Ruth, Orphan. Turned out to be one of the most recognizable baseball players ever. Right. And a yard full of pubs. Yeah, I love the stadium club photography. It's all always, always nice. All right, so those are the two boxes of stadium club that we had. So we're looking for four on-card auto autos total, two in each stack, plus the uh, the box loaders here. I won't forget about those. And your first one is Taylor Ward, Angels. Rookie auto for the Angels. That'll be for Trey. Uh, Angels coming back. The Angels have scored a couple runs. I think they're going to come back. My investment in the Oakland A's does not seem good. They're down two runs now. So those variations, like those red ones, will will ship along with any of the other photo variations. Every time I get it right side up, it goes. There's Nick Martini. Rookie auto, Nick Martini for Stephen K and the A's. And that is 11 out of 50. Mmm, Martinis. Everyone know the story about the, the A's elephant? I saw a cool A's hat the other day where it was that A's green. And then the white elephant, right, right on the, right on the front. I thought that was pretty sweet. I think the story goes back in like the when they were the Philadelphia A's back in the day. There was some, there was like some ownership rivalry, and they said that what you inherited in the A's was a white elephant, just a bad team, you know. But then they ended up winning, and then, and then. They used the elephant as a mascot just to throw it back in the face of the other owner. Try to dog them, try to throw shade. The 30s, I think. There's my trout, Instavision for the Angels. Carl's uh, Yaz's uh, grandson, I think, plays in uh, San Francisco. He might be playing right now. All right, so that was the first box of Stadium Club. Damn, Yaz just got into the lineup. And we've got a Kristen Stewart uh, redemption. Plenty of time to redeem it. That is for the Detroit Lions. Tigers. Different cap. Danny. That one. Uh, 150? How much was this break, you guys? 150, 160? 25 bucks. It was a decent amount. Decent cost. Decent buy-in. I think I'm going to try to find it, see if we can find a Kristen Stewart card. I hope they use that shot for, uh, 
for his uh, autograph. Uh, Nick Birdie, what's he going here? Is he going Proverbs here, you guys? So like Proverbs, letters to the Philippians, maybe some Psalms. Does the letters to the Philippians even have twenty-one chapters? I don't know. What do you think, you guys? Going Psalms on this? I, I credit, uh, yeah, I, I credit Rex, Matthew, for for getting this break to fill. Are we going? Pro are we going Austin 316? Maybe drop a Stone Cold Center on somebody here. Travis, you're going Proverbs. Someone look that up. Proverbs 2131. Got released the other week. You see that? All right, box toppers. Ah, the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Travis and Trey with that one. Is that is that New Revised Standard version? That sounds like New Revised Standard. Give me give me King James. Speaking of horses, look at that. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with Clayton Kershaw. Alright, that's for the Dodgers. And another Dodger, Sandy Koufax. I don't. I don't know where that picture came from, but. Um, Let's see. Um, let's get into. Let's get. Let's knock this out. 2017 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo. We've got 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball dropping next Wednesday on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can pre-order hobby editions and these jumbo editions right now. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get an early start. Oh, we got five autos in this one. Good luck, everybody. Trey, it was AEW. I don't even know what edition that is. No. It's either either King James or New Revised Standard Edition versions. Only two Bibles you need, folks. That's it. It looked like those were Clydesdales, right, in front of the Clayton Kershaw. He was, like, warming up in front of horses? What was going on? Oh, AEW is the wrestling thing? I'm, I'm looking for the different Bible, ver Bible versions, ladies and gentlemen. 
You know, one of our sorters and shippers at work here, you may have seen him in the background earlier in the day, his name is Cody. He is going to wrestling school, professional wrestling school, learning all the moves, Become, becoming a, he's going to be a wrestler. We'll sponsor him. He'll, he'll be famous someday. Right. 265 to 299 Cole Hamels. Oh, we got King James? And the path of the righteous man is beset upon all... No, that's Ezekiel, 25 cents. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Uh, King James didn't make it sound cool. <laughs> I thought I was going to sound like Pulp Fiction. Eddie Gamboa. That is for the Rays. That's for uh, Rex and the Rays. Uh, I don't know what his thing is yet. I think he's just... Uh, he's just... There's courses. I, I, I guess I didn't think that there would be any in Southern California, but I guess it makes sense. A lot of acting, right? So, But that's what he's doing. And he could be, I don't know, famous someday. There's Mitch Hanniger, rookie auto for the Mariners. That's going to go to Javier and the M's. Mariners tied at two with the uh, Tigers. Don Rabb, could someone please explain the difference between Hobby, Tops, Chrome, and the Jumbo other than packs per box? That's exactly what it is, packs per box. Jumbo traditionally has this many packs and five autographs per box. There's more autos. I think the slight difference in Hobby, that Mitch Hanniger is at four ninety nine, by the way. I think um, Hobby may have different parallels that are exclusive to just that edition. But I think pretty much the, the checklist is, is identical. There may be a couple players that are Hobby only or Jumbo only, and a couple parallels that are Hobby only or Jumbo only. But for this Topps Chrome, it's basically the configuration is the difference. I think Hobby has the orange, right, Kilo? Hobby has the orange parallel? And Jumbo doesn't? I've heard people argue in many different years previously. They're saying, oh, well, parallels are better in one, but the autographs are better in the other, or vice versa. I've heard every year I hear that. And there's Joe Jimenez, who I think is a tiger. Joe Jimenez is still a Tiger. All right, so Jimenez goes to Danny. Sam, is that right, Sam? Southern California's a real hotbed for pro wrestling right now? His gimmick to AMA should say, never rains in Southern California. You'd be the rain man. I haven't really gotten into it. Um, to see how far he's gone into some sort of character. But but he, he was telling me he's going to these classes. He's learning all these skills. You know, he could hit me with a chair and not hurt me as, as badly. <laughs> There's Roldis Chapman. So, yeah. Cody, coming to a ring near you. I think the, the wrestling school that he goes to, there's Luke Weaver, who sound, looks like he was signing that in a car, goes to the Cardinals, Brian Wilkes. So I think his class, I think upon like the end of, end of a session or a, or a term or something like that, will have some sort of, uh, some sort of thing. Like a exhibition that they're gonna do, which I'm gonna to try to go to. Trey, you want to see more boxes with uh, with snakeskin and, and and zebra on it? All right, all right. I'm I'm getting an idea what of what Trey likes. Do you have like alligator shoes too? Maybe some some snakeskin Gucci belts. I like your style, Trey. He wants to see more weird parallels like that. That seems to be Panini's thing. Yeah, 
Jarrell Cotton goes to Stephen Kay and the A's. We'll save that that prism rookie Aaron Judge to Yankees, Bill. So this was Topps Chrome Jumbo. All right, now let's get into some Bowman. Folks, we're getting close to the end. All the, all the hefty stuff is pretty is pretty much gone, except for even that finest doesn't have that many packs in it. We're cruising along, Bowman Chrome, one one autograph per mini box. I want to see I want to see uh, Panini Baseball, or some Trey do uh, do like an ostrich print. Let's get all sorts of exotic skins on there. Go zebra, tiger. You know, snake skin, ostrich. I want some tortoise shell. Give me that tortoise shell. Some abalone. Have like a real fur border. Get some chinchilla up in this. Oh man. Poor chinchillas, but sweet card. Fernando Tatis Jr. Chinchilla border. Woo. Busting that museum arc. Yes. Sam Banks, I, I will be. There's Christian Robinson to 655 for the Diamondbacks. MH says Upper Deck needs to make a comeback. It's hard to it's hard for these companies nowadays because it seems as if uh, there's Antoni Flores for the Red Sox to 150. Because it seems like the the companies have kind of kind of picked their sport. You know what I mean? Or at least muscled their way into in, into their own sport, like Panini has the basketball and football license, right? And a little bit of baseball, but, you know, Topps is still strong doing baseball. Upper Deck is, 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 doing, uh, is doing their Goodwin Champion stuff as well as hockey is their huge thing, right? and they're great at that. So, yeah, it seems like they've kind of... <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'll have to ask the Upper Deck guys. I mean, but listen, here's the thing. I've... I've I was like, I've talked to some tops guys, like executives, and I said, hey, my crew asks me all the time, when's tops getting football back? When's tops getting football back? And, and he, he admitted, listen, we would love to get football back. But just with the contracts and the way that they're, they've been drawn up and everything, it's hard to crack that. Now, the NFL, NFL PA and the NFL said, yeah, okay, you know. <laughs> I think they were just like, go for it. You guys gave, you guys gave it the more money, most money. Let's just go with it. <laughs> Let's sign the exclusive and go with it. Uh, there's Joe Dunand for Chris D and the Marlins. So I don't know, maybe not by choice per se, but I think I think everyone's just kind of naturally, just with the landscape of the hobby, the economics of it, I think everyone's just kind of, at least to me anyway, this is just my personal opinion, everyone's kind of settled into their own little niche. All right, there's Cole Brandon, green to 99. You think Tops would be wise to buy Panini? I don't think Panini can be bought. Let's do, let's stay with the uh, Bowman vibe, 2019, then we'll go finest. So yeah, I don't, I don't think they'll I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think Topps is interested in buying Panini. Remember, Topps still makes a ton of money 
on like all their candy properties and stuff. Probably a, a lot more money than they would off of a museum collection, for example. Hi, Jackie. I was like, who the? I was like, I was like, oh, I was in the middle of this thing. Yeah, I was like, who is who is that? And it's like, oh, it's just Jackie. See ya. It's Jackie. All right. All right, we've got the, these Mojo refractors, which of course will ship. All right, look at that green one there, nice Ian Anderson. I think this might be exclusive to these Megas. Oh, you, you think, uh, I would love to see Upper Deck get a little football and baseball back. I'm not, I don't know when that's gonna happen. Tops National Treasures with the license would be pretty sick. I think it would be, but see, I think there's also a lot of just personal and professional competition, right, in terms of the different design departments. You know, so if you're if you're in the Tops Design Department, you want to be like, all right, well, NT is their thing. That's their design. We don't want to bite off of that. We'll we'll, we'll create a design that looks better than NT. Is there is there sort of angle if you're if you're a designer there if you're a panini you're like I want I want to outdo tops in their baseball game or just keep rocking the football game yeah you know I think. Uh, uh, Mark Glassman recommended that to me the other day. Jack of all trades. I think it was Boombox. No, I still haven't gotten around to that, but it's on the flicks. I've got the flicks, so I want to check that out. But yeah, I agree, Trey. you got to have competition or it gets stagnant, but I don't know. Everyone's just kind of fallen into their own lanes, I guess, just whether they intended to or not. You know, they kind of fell into their own lane, and I think that's how it's going to be for now. I mean, I, I, I'd like to see, you know, more, I'd like to see Upper Deck do football and baseball, right? I'd like to see all that. But for now, I don't think it's going to, it's going to change anytime soon. But I, it hasn't been bad per se. But everything is cycles, right? Everything is in ebbs and flows, you know, maybe at some point. Five, seven years from now, there'll be a position where NFL PA wants to do something different and MLB, MLB PA wants to do something different. Someone at Panini or someone at Tops may have a new idea. And that might change everything. It's Tommy Pham to 99. I think that's a great, yeah, that's a great point, Bill. There's just so much out there that after a while, you need to figure out the one or two things you really like in the hobby and then collect those and not worry about every single new release that comes out. There's Brian Anderson, rookie, auto for the Marlins. I think back, back when Brian Anderson was a rookie, Christy, he had an outside shot of being rookie. I think he would have been like, Two other players didn't exist. He could have been Rookie of the Year. It's Brian Anderson. But yeah, now there's like 30 some odd football products a year, 30, 40 baseball products a year. You know? I mean, you've got like, I don't know. There's just so much now. 20 basketball products a year. And some point this is what happens I think in group breaking especially when they find when they find discover Jaspies right or other group breakers nice Ahmed Rosario finest hour autograph 
Robert Grease, Mets on the board, is that I always tell everyone, listen, just accept the fact that you're going to overspend. Your first six months, your first year here, you're going to overspend because everything's new to you and every single product is going to be amazing and you want it all, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to end up with a dining table full of different releases and you just kind of learn, sometimes the hard way, you just learn about, hey, what carries value a year later? You know, what What do I like a year later? Oh, I, I thought I really liked this design, but I don't, you know? I thought I was a museum collection guy, but maybe I'm more of an immaculate guy, you know, that, you know what I mean? Or girl. So you'll learn and develop different different tastes. Try a little bit of everything, obviously within your budgets, but in the first year, you, you kind of come back to the hobby. Try a little bit of everything. That's part of the... That's part of the learning curve. That's part of what you're paying for. <laughs> you know, it's like you're part of what you're paying for is just making these mistakes. Me like f word. I don't like the. I don't like this at all. You know. Oh, Joe. It turns out that that doesn't sell well on the secondary market. That was my thing. You know. And you also have to find out wh why you're collecting. Everyone can, and don't let anyone tell you how to collect. You can collect whatever you want and however you want to. There's no right or wrong way. But be honest with yourself about what you like design wise, what you want out of a product, you know, and what you want to do with the stuff that you get. If you want to sell it, all right, then you know, you gotta think of different different ways to get into products to resell. You know, you want to PC some stuff, hey, then just focus on the design that you like and and just PC. You got a lot of money, hey, you can get into a lot of high end stuff. You don't got a lot of money, a lot of other lower end stuff that you can easily get into and still still have fun with the hobby. That's the key, I think. And just have fun. I mean, listen, I think, I think we're all smart enough to know that, that this is essentially a, a, a form of, of, of gambling, you know, and with knowing that, just keep having fun. If it stops becoming fun, don't do it. Take a break. But this is not much different when we were kids and we would buy like $5 packs Hoping for like gambling for like a big hit, right? Just we added some zeros as we get as we got older. 2019 finest. Here we go. And Jake Bowers. This is Rays edition of Jake Bowers. That goes to Rex and the Rays. All right, Robert Grease, or no, Bill is saying his products, Bowman Draft, is excellent, Ultimate Hockey, Origin, Spectra Basketball. That's pretty solid. Robert likes Immaculate, Tier 1. NT, MH, you're right. NT Buckets is tough, but if you hit, you hit big. Even some of like the, the, the lesser players, you know, if you get like, if you get an RPA of even some of the lesser players, you'll still profit. There's Joey Votto, green to 99. I like Gypsy Queen too. I like Ginter and Gypsy Queen. Those are those are two quirky products that I enjoy a lot. All right, and we got Rowdy Tellez, rookie auto for the Blue Jays, fifty nine out of ninety nine. Uh, John, John G with the Bluebirds. Yeah, I love Alan and Ginter. It's just so long, uh, group breaking wise. That that's a fun one to do. Like Alan and Ginter is still fun to do. Like if you just buy a, a couple boxes for yourself and just spend, you know, just spend like the day or spend like a couple hours just ripping it open yourself. It's very satisfying. Out of one fifty, Ronald Guzman. But group break wise, it's not as that's different. That's different. There it is. Out of 50 on that one. Christian Yelich, prized performers. Insert. So, oh, it was Jake Bowers and Rowdy Tellez, by the way. Those were your autographs. Rowdy Tellez, Blue Jays once again, John G. All right, let's get into, let's do this gold label, and then we'll move into some museum.
But Ginter's an acquired taste too. For sure. All right. How are the Giants doing? I need them to win tonight. They are still tied at one. Are the Oakland A's gonna gonna help me out here? Oakland A's not helping me out. They still have the bottom of the seventh. Are they still got three three frames. Bottom of the seventh, eighth, and ninth. Trey, did you get the you get the hockey guys out of Ginter? You'd always rip the card. You wouldn't be able to help yourself. Bill Mosher said he would despair if he got a ripped card. That's right. That that was a pretty that was a pretty big. I'm glad Jason pulled it too. He he's the hockey guy here at Jaspi. So that's the frame. Rip it or keep it, folks. America's favorite game. Rip it or keep it. There's Jake Arietta Cubs edition. It's funny that, that he's now on the Cubs and he's not on the Cubs. And there's Ledmi's Diaz to 50. Always would rip it? I don't know what I do. I think I. I think I'd be like Bill. I'd, I'd be like. I'd, I'd agonize over it for days. I'd ask everybody. All right. There's Lindor. There's Josh Bell, and the gold frame is Bam. Nice Carson Fulmer rookie auto gold frame. Looks like not numbered, but very nice. That'll be for the White Sox. Brian Crouch with. The Shy Sox. MH wouldn't rip it. I think it always... It, everyone has a strategy, right? It depends. Like, oh, if it's X player, number to whatever, then you do. But if it's one player and it isn't, it's numbered uh, It's numbered to this. You, you don't rip it. All right, eighteen nineteen museum collection left. We're almost there, folks. And then the rest of these are like one pack per box sort of deals. If you had those rip cards for like 30 years, imagine how much they'd be worth. Could be worth a lot actually, right? Especially if someone is like really tracking that particular year of Ginter and they're like, yeah, I haven't seen this card come out. We haven't seen this card come out. We know it's on the checklist. Could it be inside a rip card? Don, you're saving up for the next Big Hit Express release? I know Nick is working on it. it takes a while, but Nick is working on it. We're putting in our, our two cents. That should be coming up maybe hopefully before the end of the year. We should maybe have another Big Hit Express release. Jeff Dabney saying this break is brutal so far. You got cut. Well, listen, Jeff, we're just getting into the good stuff here. We got museum, two boxes of museum. We got a monster hit in this Argonaut. We got an autographed baseball, five star inception, archive signature. We got that immaculate back there. So, you got a chance at the Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball bat. So it could turn around real quick from here on out. Randy Johnson to 50. All right. And then we've got Justin Bohr, 12 out of 35, two color patch. Marlins. 
Oh, area is on PEDs. That's that. That's the issue. Stephen K says strategy would be to either rip it right away or just sell it and cut your ties with the card. Yeah, don't hold on to it. If you let it marinate too much, it'll get into your head. We got another Marlin, D Gordon, thirty-eight out of fifty. Fish are doing okay in this break. Chris with the Marlins. My biggest hit. That DiMaggio barrel is up there. We pulled some nice Donchiches recently that have been pretty huge. Oh, there's Syndergaard. Do we get two reproductions? There's that one. There's one right here, and there's one right here. The quad relic is Carlos Correa, 14 out of 25. That'll be for Joe Elran Word and the Strohs. The reproduction, and we've got Sweet Lou Brock, 23 out of 299. That's for the Cardinals, Brian Wilkes. <laughs> I, th I think all the hits we pulled amount to more than more than 30, Jeff. Let's not undersell this break. All right, now it's 2019 Museum Collection. Been hits that we pulled out. I'm trying. I was thinking of like big hits. I, I I think there have been times, you know, where at the time that was a monster hit. You know, we pulled some. I pulled like a like a rookie Miles Turner out of like NT basketball or flawless basketball, like out of ten. And at that time, of the release, you know, that card would have gone for like ten thousand dollars on a secondary market. So it's. So it's difficult to really remember like what like a, a monster hit would would be like like value monetarily wise. Sorry, is that not quite on camera? There it is. Cal Ripken Jr. Michael Kopech. All right, behind the J.D. Martinez reproduction is Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 201 out of 299. Dual relic and autograph. That'll be for John and the Blue Jays. He's having a nice season. Him and has him and his brother. Yeah, the Connor McDavid. I don't think I pulled the Connor McDavid RP out of the cup though. I think those were all Jason Jaspi. Buster Posey, 56 out of 75, two-color quad relic, Blake and the Giants. Behind Ozzy is the autograph. There's Michael Kopech, archival autograph out of 299 for the White Sox, Brian Crouch. And we've got Jose Peraza for the Reds, 42 out of 50. And that's Adam Hendricks with the Red Legs, last spot mojo.
But wait, there's more. Look at all this. No need to despair just yet, ladies and gentlemen. You got to play to the whistle. Clayton Kershaw keeps tipping over. All right, there is 2018 Tier 1 Baseball. All right, Chad. Yeah, we still have a number of boxes to go, but good luck, man. Thanks for getting in. We got Diamondbacks edition of AJ Pollock to 335. Oh, man. Former Dodger Cole Calhoun hits a homer. That means, yeah, A's not going to come back here. <laughs> There's Carrasco. 21 out of 285. Get well soon, Carlos Carrasco. That's for Justin Gutting and the Indians. And the autograph is, that's my boy Alex Verdugo, tier one talent, 93 out of 295. Rolando Lewis with a little Dodger Joe Mojo. There you go. That was Tier 1. Let's go 2018 Inception Baseball. We're flying towards the end now, folks. Forget where the auto... There's the auto right there. Behind Hunter Renfro is Rymel Tapia, 7 out of 99. <laughs> the timer, I'm at 1 hour, 27 minutes, and 43 seconds. I think I made good time on this. Rymel Tapia for the Rockies, Juan, with that one. Two thousand nineteen Inception Baseball. That's why you do group breaks, Sam, across an entire case. I like this uh this is this year of Inception better than the previous year. It just feels lighter. 14 out of 50, Ramon Laureano. And the autograph is Amaris Garcia. Aramis Garcia. 20 out of 25, little oppo, Joe Mojo. Giants, Blake. Are your hands killing me by Sunday? Nah. Nah, no, man. The hands are strong. Hands are strong. All right. Next one is Mike Fires, 41 out of 99, Astros. That's going to go to Joe L. Ran Word. Second archive signature series is Zach Cozart, 12 out of 99. That'll be for the Angels. That goes to Trey. Let's do some five star.
blank card here. Hide these guys right here. All right, first one is Jack Flaherty, rookie auto. Cardinals, Brian Wilkes. And the second one out of here is a dual auto. Also, the Cardinal, the bird box. Cardinals box, seven out of 10. Bob Gibson and Ozzie Smith, dual on-card autograph. Brian Wilkes. And both on card, so both Bob Gibson and Ozzie Smith both touch this card. We'll bring both of those guys to uh, the Jaspies autograph camp. All right, this is sportscards.com's greatest hits of the 90s. Some of those finest cards they have in here. You guys will be surprised at, at some of the values of those. There could be some potential monsters in here. I was surprised. I, I didn't think I have enough trash for the uh, entire mixer, but I did. We've got authentic signature Mark Dewey. I barely remember this guy. Uh, that's for the Giants. And then for the Tigers, Millennium Marks, Gabe Alvarez. Tigers. That'll be for Danny Connell. And a graded 9-10. That's pretty cool. 2000 Upper Deck Legends Legendary Signatures, Nolan Ryan. Centering a nine, edges nine, corners eight and a half, surface a nine and a half. That's a nine ten. Nolan Ryan Autograph Rangers Edition. Texas Rangers, that goes to Mark Matheson. Already graded for you. Already graded for you. All right. Autograph baseball. What up, Tyler? What's going on? Just rocking through a 25 box baseball mixer. No big deal. Got the JSA, all the pertinent information there. And so these baseballs, <laughs> it's a retired player. So these baseballs, um, we there's no checklist for it. There's no attachment to a team. It's just a baseball. And there's no team logo or anything like that on it. If they're retired, it'll go to the team. Uh, it'll go to the team he played for the longest. And if he's an active player, it'll go to the team that he is currently on. And if he's tied, it'll go. Is he tied? I think he played for that team the longest. He did. Okay. Yeah, he did. His original team. It's 
Does everyone remember their Hall of Fame? Can everyone, anyone guess that autograph? It looks very similar to his son's autograph. He, he does add a little extra on this side right here. There's the JSA sticker on the back right there. Yep, it's Vlad Guerrero Sr. Spent a year with the Orioles, a year with the Rangers, six seasons with the Angels, and eight seasons with the Montreal Expos, which of course is for the Nationals. Javier Gutierrez with the Nats. Nice. Good hit. Let's tag that. All right, now Immaculate, and then we'll do Argonaut. one we're going to try to get more of this immaculate too might be at a slightly higher price but but I know it's pretty popular try to get some more all right good luck everybody We've got Caleb Ferguson from my Dodgers, 23 out of 49. That's for Rolando Lewis. We've got Blake Snell, 15 out of 35 for the Rays. Rex with the Rays. Elbow surgery for Blake Snell. It's not good. We got Junior now. One out of ten, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Two color patch, John with the Blue Jays. Immaculate swatches. Then we've got a one out of five, Dennis Santano. Winter collection. Triple Relic, an autograph, one out of five. Little Dodger Joe Mojo going to Rolando Lewis. Should, they should call this guy up, put him in the bullpen. Uh, Rolando, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Then we've got Justice Sheffield. 73 out of 99. Mariners, Javier with that one. Nice, just Sheffield, big pitching prospect for the Mariners. And the last one here of Immaculate is Jason Giambi. Two out of five. That's a nice autograph. He kind of does a, does the J like Juan Soto. Two out of five A's edition of Jason Giambi. That's for Stephen K and the Oakland A's. I think A's could use a Giambi right now to help them come back and beat the beat the Rangers. I don't think it's going to happen. Stephen K. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And box 25 is 2019.
Gold Rush Argonaut Baseball, one premium card per box, folks. We have um, we have breaks of this, group breaks of this in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We can knock some of this out tomorrow. All right. Does it feel like a graded card, maybe? It is graded. It's a 9, 5, and 10. It's a Cub. It's Chris Bryant from 2017 Topps Transcendent Baseball. Centering and edge is a 9.5. Surf is a 9. Corners are a 10. That's a 9.5. That's a 6 out of 15. Chris Bryan and his autograph, a perfect 10. And at the very, very end, I know there wasn't a lot of these, Jeff, but there you go, man. Jeff Dabney, Chicago Cubs with this graded Chris Bryan. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jaspie's. 25 box mega baseball mixer here on a Friday night. I don't have anything else to do. Oh, I do have one more thing to do. I got to give away this bat. I got to give away the bat. So there's the Beckett authentication. This is Vlad Guerrero Jr.'s autograph right there. There's his bat. There we go. All right. Everyone gets a shot at it. Everyone gets a shot. Yeah, ideally it'll go to it'll go to a team that maybe went hitless. Or I mean it could be I mean you could be a nice cherry on top for someone who's had a nice break, too. Either way, it's a nice giveaway. It's a bat. Let's go back to the list. So everyone has a shot from Travis down to Javier. Let's put you into a new list. I don't have, I have no randomizers? Oh, the duel was both the Cardinals. Wow, nice clean break. All right, let's roll it. And randomize it eight times. Name on top gets the Vlad Guerrero Jr. bat. After eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, see the eight right there? Name on top. Five, four, three, Two, one, Trey Bush. There you go, Trey. Autograph baseball bat going your way. There it is. There it is again, right there. Pretty nice. You can see on the top cam right there the rest of the bat. Pretty nice stuff. There's the autograph again. Pretty cool bat. Right, you give it a couple swings in the batting cage. All right, there you go. So great giveaway, great break. Hey, thanks very much, everyone, for giving this break a shot, and hopefully we're going to be able to send you some cool things. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.